just got my nails done they're cute but they're not what i asked for but i won't sit here and continue to complain because people are dying kim no i'm just playing <laughs> Simon Aaron came up in the ocean and it's gone. Look. And there's people that are dying. <laughs> oh my God, people are dying, Kim, and you're sitting here complaining about your nails. Life is just, you know, and I'm just here like trying my best to cover myself, shield myself, but sometimes it just feels like life is winning. So it's like we're starting fresh together. So when you see this video, that thing that you've been putting off, I want you to do it with me, girl. So I'm making a conscious effort to be the best me that I can be in 2023, girl. I am a natural. Did y'all just, did you hear what I just said? I can't repeat it because I don't remember, but yeah. <laughs> Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Come on, but don't play with it. <laughs> I speak TikTok. And if you don't, we can't be friends because it's a chicken sound. Is that F1? that messy but i was just trying to find something to wear so that's why the stuff is on the bed but girl like this is a used space so everything is not gonna be speak and span all the time but anyways this is my outfit for today i'm about to run out um it is raining so i have on this cute little let me see if i can show it hold on i don't like umbrellas so i just prefer hood so i have on this cute little hoodie puffer vest these little fur boots 
some jeans, um, brown bodysuit, and then this little bag right here. I'm not going to wear any glasses because it is raining, like, really, really bad. But, girl, I am looking so cute. Yes, ma'am. And these boots are new, so that's why they're on the carpet because I don't like shoes in my house. But, yeah, let me show y'all my hair real quick. Hold on. Okay, y'all, so this is another look at the outfit. So cute. Period. And I feel so comfy, so cute. This is how to look, you know, like this. Of course, I'll probably put it to the back. But, girl, you see this get it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Come on, but don't play with it. <laughs> I speak TikTok. And if you don't, we can't be friends because it's a chicken salad. All right, I love y'all, and I will call y'all back. Maybe when I get to the mall, maybe I'll just come home and show y'all what I bought. Hopefully, I can find something, y'all, because I don't even think I told y'all where I'm going or why I'm going where I am going. So, that was a lot. I am headed to the mall, and it is because I have an event to go to tomorrow. I had this super cute outfit all planned out. It's so cute. I bought it three weeks ago, and lo and behold, I cannot fit it anymore. It is now too big. So I have to go find something else because I'm pretty sure by now I've told y'all I've lost weight as you can see. This is, I think I've lost so far 24 pounds. 24 pounds. So yeah, this is what it's looking like and I'm so excited. So um, it's a good problem to have. I'm not really upset about it at all. So I'm just gonna go try to find something. Good thing is that the event is all black and it's really easy to find all black items. So yeah, girl, I am about to go and I will call y'all when I get, I will call y'all back. I'm sorry, but I just need one minute to make sure I look good. Do you think I look good, Mr. Armstrong? <laughs> I'm telling y'all, TikTok, baby. I speak TikTok like fluently. All right, girl, I'm about to go. So, bye. I'm outside in an AMG right outside. Hey on girls, so I am very much so aggravated. I just got my nails done. They're cute, but they're not what I asked for. And have you ever had that happen? Like, you know, everybody say, oh, they're cute, they're cute. It's cute, but it's not what I asked for. So let me tell y'all what happened. Hopefully it's not too loud because they are mowing the lawn um, behind me. So yeah, I apologize if it's a little noisy. But I came here, oh my God, like, oh, you know what? They're not mowing the lawn, they're doing construction. So it is a little noisy. But I came here because I found the guy on Instagram. Looked like he did a wonderful job. And I decided to come here. I called before I came because a lot of the times when I go into shops and I don't get the price, I notice that they always take the price up on me because of certain things. Like, you know, girl, they judge you off of your jewelry, your handbag, your just how you look as a whole okay what you pull up in like these people are literally nosy they they will look at everything and that's how they determine the price which is wrong because in my business I don't care if my client is a millionaire which I do have clients that are millionaires I don't care if my client is a millionaire or I don't care if my homegirl works at a local fast food joint the price is the price the wig is going to sell for the price that I say the wig costs I don't care how much money you you make it just is what it is because that's principle so I call I get the quote over the phone he tells me a price okay I'm fine with that I come I come, I tell this man I want short. Do y'all see this? This is not short. I said short. He goes on to tell me that, oh, this is the shortest I can do for your nail bed because I think he said I have a wide nail bed. I don't know, girl, to tell you the truth, but it's not true. My old nail tech can turn water into wine okay? She did her thing. It's just that her family sold the shop, so they sold the shop, girl. I don't know the new people, and the new people have bad reviews. So, this is what I, I was like, okay, it is what it is. He was like, just trust me, just trust me. I'm going to file it, and it's going to be shorter. It's still not short. Thankfully, I didn't get like a bright color or anything like that, so that's the only reason I walked out of there, you know, and paid for it because it doesn't look bad it's just not what I wanted and also I was so over it I was just ready to go anyway hold on 
we in a good neighborhood, but I still lock my doors. And I forgot. That's how mad I am. Okay. I forgot to lock my doors and to know me is to know I never forget to lock doors. But anyways, moving forward, I specifically asked about glitter because I know some people charge for glitter, some people don't. These people told me they did not charge for glitter. It was no addition. I get here, I am quoted $30 over the price that I was quoted over the phone. So of course, this is their establishment. I have too much going on. I'm not going back and forth for up about $30, right? I just know not to patronize your establishment, you know, in the future. So they tell me, oh, the glitter is $15 extra, but over the phone, you told me glitter was included. So, okay, lie number one. Also, even if glitter was extra, there's still a discrepancy in the price because it's still not adding up to what you told me over the phone. Again, I don't feel like going back and forth. I pay, I tip, I leave, and I come in the car and I just start examining my nails. Girl, you know that's what we do. So I'm in here and I'm just looking. And the fact that this man just, you can't see it, but the fact that it's still just so much like crusty stuff around my nail, I don't know what that is. Like, I guess some additional powder or something. I don't know, girl, but to just leave this on somebody's nails when this basic set was just what I paid for is just insane. It's insane. And again, the, on the only reason that I did not say anything while I was in there was because for one, I didn't see this. I don't feel like going back in because clearly I can just pick it off. So that's what I'm going to do. But I just won't go here again. And yeah, like, if you're in Atlanta, this is so crazy because I'm born and raised here. But like I said, my people close. If you're in Atlanta, please tell me where you get your nails done at. That does a good job and isn't just a clout salon. Because I go to some of the, the salons that the girls say they go to and the nails are trash. The nails are trash. Y'all are just going there because it's the thing to do. I don't want a salon like that. Even if you feel like you got to send it to my DM, girl, just let me know. Just, Just let me know. These are the nails. You can't really see. I do have two fingers um, that are glitter on each hand. So they're pretty. I won't say that they're ugly. They're just not what I wanted. So that's why I'm a bit aggravated. And that was another thing I didn't like. When I asked for the breakdown, girl, you would have thought I said, put your hands in the air. It's a stick up. Everybody just froze and looked like the breakdown, the breakdown a breakdown like she wants to know how much something cost yes i don't care that you see what i have going on and you feel like i got money to blow even if i do have money to blow ma'am i have the right to ask how much something costs so it just totally turned me off i won't sit here and continue to complain because people are dying kim no i'm just playing <laughs> Oh my God, people are dying, Kim, and you're sitting here complaining about your nails, but you know, I work hard for my money, girl, and I wouldn't care if I inherited all my money. I, I like what I like, but I digress. I'm about to go and get me something to eat. I'm probably just going to go to a restaurant and sit at the bar. Also, I'm about to go pick up my car. Hopefully it's ready today. It's my service advisor from Audi called me a few minutes ago and let me know that my car should be available for pickup and I am super excited. And yeah, girl, look at look at that bottle back there. I had such a cute shot into the bottle, but at least y'all know I drink my water and mind my business. So yeah, girl, that's enough of that. I will call y'all a little later. Thanks so much for listening to my rant. You all are far too kind, okay? So I'll call you back, girl. Hey y'all, so I'm not sure if the lighting is okay, but we're gonna pray it is. Anyway, I just wanted to check in and show y'all what I'm doing right now. I have five wigs to make today. I've already made one, which is right here. And here are the other four that I'm about to work on. So yeah, girl, I will call y'all a little later. 
Hey, little girl, what's up? What's poppin'? So it's the next day, and I really just remembered, I don't think that I've introduced myself. So, hey, I'm Mercedes, and welcome to the family. If you're not new here, you already know the type of person that I am. I'm a very, like, off-the-top type of person. Um, as you know, I've been gone from YouTube again, girl. Oh, my God. I was having a conversation with my mom, and she was like, Mercedes, you got to stop doing them like that because you always come on here and tell them that you are serious this time or you're this and you're that. And, y'all, I just want to say, even though I've already said it before, I just had a lot going on. And also, I'm at a really – I'm just at a point in my life where – I'm changing and it's kind of hard to do it on camera I guess because when I first came on camera I was in my early 20s and now I'm in my late 20s being that I'm 28 and in 2023 I'll be 29 so a lot of things are just changing about me the way I talk the way I want to dress the way I wear my nails the way I do everything honestly it's just changing so by me coming on YouTube I'll be transparent and say it's a little scary to like you don't know if your subscribers or your homegirls are still your homegirls. Like, are they going to accept the fact that you're changing? Are they changing with you? Do they feel like you're fake because you are changing? Like, you know, I'm adding words into my vocabulary. Does that mean I'm fake and trying to be, you know, somebody I'm not? No, it just simply means I'm growing up. So that's why I've been off YouTube, kind of just getting to know myself and finding myself. So I kind of just needed to break off of YouTube to really just like get back to the happy me but also the new version of me so again with me losing my stepfather some of you guys know that I lost him to cancer and then I was in a relationship I ended my relationship so and I not only not only was I in a relationship I was in a relationship with a friend so it was like a double whammy because I lost a friend and I lost my boyfriend too so it was just like life is just you know and I'm just here like trying my best to you know cover myself shield myself but sometimes it just feels like life is winning and I can honestly and truly say I feel as if I am winning again uh, and and I'm winning in like a really good way like I've never felt so sure of who I am it's just a really crazy time like I don't know maybe if you started watching me when you were around the same age as me and now you're older as well you may understand where I'm coming from let me know girl let me know I'm not the only one <laughs> but yeah I really don't have too much to say I'm not gonna come on here and tell y'all oh I promise I'm gonna upload I promise I'm gonna do this I'm just going to let it show you know YouTube is something I genuinely miss when I'm not on here because in a sense I feel as if this is where all my friends are even though I don't know y'all in person the fact that i know some of y'all's names like your youtube names because we communicate so much on here i just feel like i'm missing i'm missing my homegirls when i'm not on here so it does feel good to be back again i'm not promising that i'm gonna upload this day this day and that day like i'm just gonna go with the flow and i'm just gonna allow myself to be myself like when i feel like vlogging i'll vlog i am going to work on my consistency i will say that just so i'm not always leaving y'all like i do feel like i leave y'all a lot so that's something i don't want to do moving forward in the new year when you see this video it will more than likely either be new year's eve or new year's and i just want to say that that thing that you've been putting off no matter what it is whether it's going back to school whether it's being an influencer starting a business being a doctor being a nurse whatever it is being a nail tech girl whatever it is this is your year like it is never too late every single day that you wake up you are blessed with a new opportunity to be whoever you want to be i am just wishing nothing but positivity health wealth and just blessings on my home girls if you want a relationship i'm praying to god for you that that's what you get a good healthy one okay if you want a new job i'm praying and wishing you the best at your new job whatever it is you want to do i just pray that you understand it's never too late look at me girl a lot of people may think oh it's easy for you to say because you have at this time i think i'm at like 60 65,000 subscribers, but you don't understand. In a sense, I'm starting over too because people know me from 
when I taught them how to have their hair businesses or when I taught them how to do their hair. So a lot of my subscribers aren't really subscribed to me for my life content, you know, like the type of content that I'm going to be going into. So it's like we're starting fresh together. So when you see this video, that thing that you've been putting off, I want you to do it with me, girl. So I'm making a conscious effort to be the best me that I can be in 2023. Girl, I am a natural. Did y'all just... Did you hear what I just said? I can't repeat it because I don't remember, but yeah. So I want you to be the best you that you can be as well. Okay, girl? So I love y'all so much. If you're not new to my channel and you've been rocking me this long, girl, it means the world to me that you're still here. I genuinely love y'all, the support that I get, everything. Like, I love my YouTube family. I do. So... 2022 is coming to an end. If you are still here, you are doing great. You're doing a great job. Always remember, none of us have life figured out. No matter how good people make it look, girl, we are all still learning and we are all, at the end of the day, still human. So just know if you see any other human out there doing something, you can do it as well, okay? So I love y'all and I will talk to y'all in my next video, okay? Bye. Oh, and I'm about to go to the gym. I think I told y'all in this vlog I've lost 24 pounds because, girl, I, your girl just blew up and I am definitely getting the pounds off. I've been going to the gym consistently. I'm looking good. This outfit is from Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description box if you're interested. And yeah, girl, I love y'all. I will talk to you later. Bye.